Welcome to Beijing! Some people have really no stress. Oh. Oh look, there's a nice gate open there. Hashtag jet lag. Mm -hmm. Nine hour flights where we left is now midnight and here is 6 a.m. What a wonderful day it is. Please put your four right hand fingerprints. Please put your four please put your four right hand. Scanning fingerprints, don't move. It's very easy to enter China. You just have to scan your thumbs and your old ten fingers. I'm okay. And if you've got more than and if you got more than ten fingers, so the best part about China is that uh, since 2017, there you have the possibility to come for a few hours, 144 uh, precisely, to come to China without visa. So you jump in, see the big wall. Great. I saw it from the plane. Jump out, leave China. No Facebook, no WhatsApp, no Google, no Yahoo, only Bing. Destination. Oh, we're taking as a Destination. Dong the rail network of the subway extends 640 kilometers, has 22 lines and is the most practical way to get around the city. Beijing, formerly known as Peking, the capital of the People's Republic of China, is with over 22 million inhabitants the most populated capital city in the world. Look carefully at his face, maybe we will meet him again later in the city and we can ask for a discount. I wonder how they make those prizes here. So, if you have luggage, they demand 40 yuan for a ride. And if you haven't got any luggage, it's only 20. And look, we've got air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, the air is conditioned by the cabin. From subway to motor rickshaw and from motor rickshaw to electric rickshaw, in Beijing you have to try everything. I can manage to do it myself. A funny Chinese guy wanted to help us and uh, he spoke only two English words, one and two. Oh wait, he knew also the word change. Yeah, and uh, he told us we need to change the subway. But as a matter of fact, where we wanted to go, we didn't need to change the subway. Now we did it twice. Guys, we just found out why the Chinese are not fat. Oh my god. Because even if they're riding the subway, you have, they have when, to, you, when you change the line, to walk a lot. you have to walk like Impossible. kilometers underground. Oh. Nah, last. Together with the Great Wall, the Forbidden City and the Summer Palace, the Temple of Heaven is a must-see in Beijing. It was built in 1420 and is one of China's most important ancient sacrificial buildings. So this temple was uh, built in 1420. And in a very, very special year, in 1989. It was included. Uh, you in... must say, wow, 1989. Wow, she, was, wow. she was born in 1989. <laughs> it was included uh, on the list of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Yep. You know, guys, it looks very familiar to me. Maybe from those little Chinese um, ointments for headache and uh, the, 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 those smelling ointments. Do you yeah. know them? What? No, I think they don't know them. The complex is four times larger than the Forbidden City. The most impressive building is the tall, circular Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests. Its location was determined with the help of Feng Shui as the exact point where heaven and earth meet. This is 
so harassed. What the? I'm married to a Chinese empress and I didn't knew it? So now you're gonna give a very good law for the people, empress. So you look very authentic, especially the eyes, you know. Yeah, I am. A lash for her. Now let's get to the center. What about taking a taxi? What could possibly happen? So we went to a taxi driver, we negotiated the price and after that another car came without any taxi inscriptions on it and we were asked to step in and here we are. I'm not afraid. If it's necessary I will punch him with the gym ball and it's really heavy. Central Square is named after Tiananmen, the Gate of Heavenly Peace, which separates it from the Forbidden City. It was built in 1651 and today it is four times as large as it was originally. It contains the Great Hall of the People, the National Museum of China and the Chairman Mao Zedong Memorial Hall. Tiananmen Square, the biggest in the whole world. Big, big, really big. The square is sadly known for the 1989 massacre when the army fired the demonstrators, killing thousands of people. In the tourist guide it says that there have to be a lot of fire extinguishers. Just in case if somebody wants to put himself on fire as a form of protest, he doesn't get any chance. <laughs> ca să comand cel mai bine să vezi pe Google Translate-ul și atunci scrie acolo, știi, înțelegi? Deci ei și vorbești dacă vrei, știi? Ok, și atunci am mers, nu știu ce am comandat, mi s-a spus că are și carne, deci să moare dacă știu ce am comandat. Au zis că are carne. Are un ouă? Ouă? Da. Da, that's me. Are you ouă? 205. I had to prepare my lunch by myself. I have noodles, vegetables and sauce. And I have to mix them. Let's enter finally the famous Forbidden City. The city was built in 1420 and consists of 980 buildings that cover 720,000 square meters. Its name refers to the fact that no one could enter or leave the palace without the emperor's permission. You may wonder why in the first courts of the Forbidden Palace there are no trees. There are two explanations for that. The first one, as the outer court was where the public ceremonies were held and the emperors were considered gods on earth, no trees were allowed, as they would overshadow the majesty of the atmosphere. And the second one, a lack of vegetation would give assassins nowhere to hide and clear lines of sight for defensive purposes. Alexandra says that it's not interesting at all, but we must tell you something. Hello, we're filming here something. Hi, Nihal. Alexandra is saying that it's not interesting at all, but I find it very interesting for you, you know. So, the door has nine times nine of those, I don't know how you call them. And why there are nine? It's because nine, it's a mystical number for the Chinese. Wow.
the legend says that the Forbidden Palace has no less than 10,000 rooms. The truth is, there are a little below 9,000 of them. But, yeah. The palace was home of 24 emperors, 14 of the Ming and 10 of the Qing dynasty. The city ceased to be the seat of political power in 1912 after Pu Yi, the last emperor of China, abdicated. His story is brilliantly covered in Bernardo Bertolucci's 1987 Oscar-awarded film The Last Emperor, where one can see the original interior of the halls of the Forbidden City. The Forbidden City is so popular among tourists that the amount of visitors had to be limited to 80,000 per day. 720,000 square meters. What an amazing what? surface. That's the, that's Two or three hours just to walk on nice um, squares, all of them paved, a few rooms, none of them visitable. Late in the evening we are taking the train to Xi'an, but that will be the story of another vlog.